A dog can really be man's best friend. They're there with you wherever you go and can be a great addition to the family if you raise them right. Although training them and raising them right is something that requires effort, you'll have a much better time with them once they know some commands and you can communicate with them. However, it can be a little difficult to figure out where to start. In this video, we're going to be going over the top five training commands you need to teach your dog and how. So keep on watching. Number five, sit. There's a reason why this is the most popular command to teach your dog. It's important and it's fairly easy to teach them. It's important that you can communicate to your dog to sit down. This is mostly used as a tactic to get them to relax too. So if you have a particularly jumpy dog, you know, the little ones, this might be a great place to start. Training a dog to sit on command is very easy. All you need to do is grab their favorite treat and put it to their nose. Once they've smelled it, you can take it away by a few inches, still in their sight. This will make them follow the treat and their butt will lower on its own. As soon as your dog sits, say the command sit and then give them the treat, followed by lots of praise. Since this is something they do naturally too, it's a great way to get your dog familiar with the concept of listening to commands, and they'll know that if they listen to you, they're in for a treat. It'll make teaching them the rest of the commands a lot easier. Number 4. Come Whether your dog is going to strictly be staying in the house or go on lots of walks in parks, you need to be able to get your dog to come to you on command. It is integral that you have trained your dog to come to you because there may be times where they get themselves in a situation where they shouldn't be, or you need them with you. When you're confident that they can come to you, you'll have a much easier time with them. Although this command may not be as easy to teach as sit, it's not very hard. You just need to go about it the right way. Put your dog's leash on them and then crouch at their eye level while being as far away as the leash allows. Then gently tug on their leash, making sure not to hurt them and let them come to you while saying the command come. Once they've reached you, praise them a lot and give them a treat. Creating a positive environment around the whole thing. It'll make them want to come to you, making the command easier to remember too. Number 3. Stay As important as it is for your dog to know how to sit and come to you on command, it's also important for them to resist. This is what you can teach them with the command stay. Most dogs don't naturally have a great amount of self-control, which can lead them into a lot of trouble at any point in time and it's important that you teach them how to stay away from trouble if needed. This command works the opposite way of come, which is why you should teach these at totally different times to make sure you don't accidentally confuse the pup. Start with commanding your dog to sit, then with your hand held out open, slowly start moving back and say the word stay in a calm but stern voice as you take each step. Once you've reached the other side and the dog remains seated, give them the treat followed by lots of praise. Remember, this may be confusing for the dog to understand, so it could take them a while to get it down, but be patient with them and they'll get it. Number 2. Leave it Since dogs explore the world with their mouths and noses, they often pick up things that they absolutely shouldn't, and sometimes these things can be injurious to their health. Yanking something out of their mouth will almost never work, as their bite force is a lot stronger than the force we can exert on them. So it's better to not get in that tug of war and teach them how to leave things on their own. Start with getting a treat or something else they may like and hold it up to their mouth. When they try to get it, put your hand in a fist and say leave it, and even if they try really hard to get it, ignore the behavior and don't give in. When they've successfully left it, give them a treat for their self-control. Repeat this until they leave everything on command. Number 1. Down There are times when your dog will get aggressive. Every dog has their own trigger and they might go off on absolutely anything. But as the owner, it's your job to train them to calm down and resist attacking whatever's triggering them and divert their attention. Once they've learned the self-control with the leave it command, you can get into this one. Take a treat and have them smell it. Once they're excited to get it, close your hand into a fist and slowly lower it to the ground. Your dog should follow with its nose. As they do that, say down and once they're on the ground, leaving it and laying down, give them a treat as a reward. Repeat the command over and over again until you can get them to relax and lay down in any situation. And with that, we wrap up today's video. These commands should make it a lot easier for you to communicate with your dog and have them be around other people and animals. Which one of these commands do you think is the most important for your dog? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. See you next week.